So I'm going to talk, as I said, about architecture. Architecture, in the way I see it, is giving form, it's giving order, it's giving beauty, it's giving poetry, it's giving, giving a rhythm, giving geometry to space. It's the play of light and shadow on maps. It's about culture. Now, I think culture is the most single important word within mankind. It's the one thing that mankind has uniquely. It is a cultural construct. And of course, again, I come back to this city, this area, has had culture longer than anywhere else. Maybe Egypt has had it a little longer. But basically, you are right at the beginning of civilization. Civilization started when we were beginning to mix, not just grow one thing or do one thing, but we start to get together to, to talk about ideas, to talk about innovation, to talk about exchange of food. It's the very base, but to talk, to, to discuss. That is really very much what civilization is. So, again, coming back to buildings, and I will go through a number of the buildings which we, I have had the good luck. And there is no building which I will show you which has not had a good climb. It is, in my opinion, the one key thing about doing a building which you may be satisfied with is having a really good relationship with your client. And a good relationship means participating with. The most difficult thing for most architects is a blank piece of white paper. I wouldn't know where to start. I often say I'm not, an, I'm not a writer. I can't close myself in a room and write. I'm not an artist in the way of painting. An architect pulls ideas out of clients and all the people for around him or her. So, I'm very interested, and we've just had a big exhibition, I will mention it, um, which is an exhibition of our work over the nearly 50 years, um, which started at the Pompidou Center, is now in Madrid, will go, go to Taiwan and the Far East. I'd love to think it will want to come here one day. And this architecture is very much about the language of architecture. We talk very much about the narrative. Again, it's very, in that sense, it's not, it's like an, it's like, it is like a book. You read buildings. Buildings are theater which you read and which you watch. But of course, the main thing in buildings is you, you, you use both the art and the science, both the eyes and the knowledge which is scientific. So for us, what is very important is, light, is that the buildings are light. And on your left is a house that Sue, my first wife, and I designed for my parents some, in, uh, some 30 years ago in the outskirts of London. And it has in, ma in many ways all the major elements which I will show today. It is transparent, it is full of light, it is a light in structure. It's clearly legible. You can see how the building is put together. Today we no longer can say this is a house and this is a restaurant because often they're the same thing. Um, I often quote uh, that the image has disappeared and if you want to see an example of that, for instance, there is the best club in Rome is in the church which brings up the question, what is a church and what is a nightclub? In other words, things are changing, they're much more dynamic, they're much more mixed. You know, all, all houses don't have, as in my part of the world, a red roof which is pitched. Um, so the legibility comes now much more from the process of construction, the understanding of the process of construction, which is why I don't believe architects are purely artists. They are engineers or work with engineers. So that's where legibility and order comes into it. The process of construction, which I have already mentioned, yes. um, and scale and grain and rhythm. It's imperative. It's like poetry. You try to get a, a rhythm going through the building, a certain elegance, a certain lightness. It either stretches along the ground, thank God, right, or it stretches up to the space, to the cathedrals which stretch upwards. Um, flexibility, everything changes today. Everything changes very quickly, much quicker than it used to. 
So what is a office building may be come tomorrow a university, what is a museum may become a series of lost spaces for artists to live in. So really, these are the changes. The sense of place is not a critical. The way we root buildings into place, that is modern artistic in that sense. But there's probably more art in that. The, play, the relationship to the, to the culture of the area, the morphology of that area, the concept of what is private, what is public, what is a mixture. Very important again. Environment, and of course, the most important thing of the, this period is environmental sustainability. Because the one thing that may wipe out our culture, our civilization of many thousands of years, could be climate change. So we all have to apply ourselves now to the fact that we're very close to a critical situation, the so-called tipping point, where climate may be clear out of control and we, the globe will go on, the earth will go on, but we may not be here to see it go on. And I think that's a tremendous pity. I've had a very fortunate, I continue to, be, to have a very fortunate life. I think life is well worth living. We of us were fortunate, and I'm one of them. Would like to be able to continue that, that idea of, li of life within a society and within an environment, which is as continuous and improving as possible. So the house on the left is a relation between the gardens, the transparency. This is actually from a little lodge in the front. This was a house when my parents live in it. Now one of my five sons live in it, lives in it with his wife and his children, and he is a, a designer. It's changed radically since this building was in the night, which is built in the 1960s. But you can very much sort of see the I concept the concepts which I have mentioned.